Hello everyone, I'm Keen 47 aka Wolfkeen. First off, let's talk about the design of each character. First off, our main character, Sonic. I do like the bandana idea, like I do like him having a bandana in some cases. Um, it, the thing is, I like when Sonic has like certain accessories, like um, in Sonic Riders he had the goggles which matched him actually pretty well in that game. And in this one, he has a bandana, which I think actually works for him in some cases. For some reason, he has, like, cloth wrapped around his gloves and his shoes. As a matter of fact, all the characters do. I don't know why. Eh. And, um, beyond that, that's really all I know about his design. What about his characteristics? I'm sorry, but while he is a sarcastic person, a very snarky, sar sarcastic character... I feel like the TV show went too far with that. I mean, there is showing off a character's trait, and then there's overblowing it, or known as flanderization. I honestly feel like Sonic in the Sonic Boom cartoon is flanderized. I really hope that uh, this isn't the case in the video game, but the cartoon trailer that, that I saw, it doesn't give me much hope. Next, we move on to Tails. I freaking love Tails' redesign. I don't know why, but Tails' design actually fits him in many cases. As you know, like, Tails is the, you know, the brains of the group, and of course he's the techie of the group. Like, you know, he makes most of the tech that Sonic and crew uses for most of their adventures, including in Sonic Riders, he made the hoverboards that they ride on. He made, you know, the plane, he made the, uh, the spaceship in Sonic X and stuff like that, so... They made a design more fitting to his, uh to his characteristics which is good they you know they made a good character they made a good design to his characteristics which i find to be really good in many cases which is good but i have a problem um in the cartoon series um in the cartoon trailer at one point tails is uh plane gets uh attacked and sonic is screaming for him to bail out of the the plane and when tails tries to pull out the ejector it breaks and tails looks at the camera with like a weird face Right there, I was like, uh, guys, you know Tails is just as smart as Eggman. I think an ejection seat would be the first thing on your mind when it comes to planes. I mean, honestly, wouldn't that be like the first thing that comes to your mind when it comes to planes since he specializes in that kind of stuff? He always has emergency plans. He always has backup plans available. So that right there really annoyed me in many cases. I really hope this is not his personality in the video game, but the cartoon, once again, is not helping. The third character redesign is Amy Rose, and it's not a bad redesign. It's actually very fitting for her in many instances. Amy Rose's old design was okay, but this new design actually fits her in some instances. And of course, she actually uses the hammer as a viable item now. We haven't seen her use the hammer as an actual item since, I think, Sonic Adventure. Because I have not played the, the handheld Sonic games. Because remember, in Sonic Adventure, she only used the hammer for either attacking or for a higher jump. Here, it showed her using it as like a, uh, a grappler. Like, you know how like you swing up pipes and stuff like that? Well, she can actually use her hammer to grab onto like a railing and swing herself across. Like, that's actually kind of interesting. I want to see what else they'll do with this hammer to see like what are the ways she'll be using the hammer and then finally we move on to knuckles and oh my god his design is terrible knuckles in every sonic game is about the same size as sonic their redesign is that they made him taller than sonic and made him beefier than sonic why why did they need to make you know knuckles beefier and taller than sonic as a matter of fact he looks like a I hate to take this line, but he looks like a Chia pet that was left on top of the fridge. That's what so uh, no, that's what Knuckles looks like. That's what uh, Ben Yatsi Croshaw said about Chris Redfield. So there you go, guys. Knuckles is the Chris Redfield of uh, Sonic. There you go. Like, get me like Knuckles is the Chris Redfield of the Sonic games. He is brawlic as hell for no reason. He is the uh, the Chris Redfield of this of this game. I swear to God, if Knuckles punches a boulder in, in this game or in a cartoon, I will lose it. I will flip some tables because I'm like, that's Chris Redfield! And now we move on to the final redesign that I saw, Eggman. 
Eggman is still holding on to his design from Sonic 06, where, you know, he no longer has the hair back here. He just has the mustache and stuff like that. But here's my problem. Eggman is an idiot. Um, basically in the cartoon, um, he had this robot ready to fight Sonic, and he called it Blazebot, even though it has nothing to do with fire and other stuff like that. Even Sonic was questioning this, like, does it have fire, incendiary grenades, acid, and other stuff like that? And he said, no, it's the claws, the claws is its speciality. And I was like, then why didn't you call it Clawbot or Eviscerator Bot or something like that? And I couldn't help but agree with this because why would Eggman make such a stupid, why would Eggman make such a basic robot with a stupid name that does not even fit it whatsoever? Eggman, you're smarter than this. Get smart. And honestly, this doesn't help at all that the cartoon... The cartoon's not helping the image of both the game and the cartoon itself. I'll check them both out just to see what's going on. Like, I don't have a Wii U, but I'll probably check out a demo of the game if I can. And um, the cartoon I'll watch when I can. I'll watch the Sonic Boom cartoon when I can. But honestly, the cartoon is not giving me a good image of the game. And the game is not giving me a good image either. Honestly, I am very worried for both of these. I have an honest feeling that... Look, after Sonic Generations, which I found to be a really good Sonic game, I feel like Sega is going back on the crap train and just shelling out these games. I really hope not. I really hope I'm wrong, and I really hope that you know they'll do well the cartoon and uh, and the uh, you know the game. But we'll see where it goes from here because all I got were teaser trailers. I don't know, you know, they may be good. They may be good. I'm just going off of teaser trailers. But the, both of them annoy me. Like, they annoy me pretty heavily, and I'm kind of worried for both games. So, not much else for me to say. If you want to check out the trailer for both the cartoon and the game, um, links are down below in the description as always. And um, go ahead and check them out and leave your opinions in the comments section below. If you want to tell me what you think about the two trailers, go ahead and leave a comment in the, in the you know, leave a comment below, and I will answer it as, to the best of my ability. Alright guys, that's not much else I have to do. So, until next time guys, I'm Keenan47, aka Wolfkeen, and this has been a Wolfsworth special. So until next time, take care.